Do 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 do. I eat game. Yeah. Hello, cheapies. Here we are at Pakaloo Forest, the second stage on tricky difficulty, and um, we're gonna do our best to get a rainbow. In fact, I'm pretty certain we can get a rainbow fragment from this. So I always let the path play out in case anybody needs to see it. Maybe they missed it in their game. Um, you can see that boulder up in the environment. You can actually push that boulder to crush some of the monsters on the path, which is pretty cool. Now, when the, when the countdown starts, or stops actually, run through the trees, never get to jump around and try and grab what you can. I believe there is a gem, oh, there's, there are some coins, let's go get those. There should be a gem over here. There's not a gem, oh, there it is, okay. So first thing we're gonna do, uh, it's very similar to the fun difficulty for this level. Um, there's a few minor changes, but um, it's generally the same. So we're gonna build some cannons first, and we wanna dance and dance and dance on them to get them leveled up as quickly as possible. Now don't forget to look up and pay attention to what is coming down the path. We have spiders next, so we do need to build some arrow towers. So we got two of those. Let's go collect our money. And I like building three arrow towers kind of like in this triangle shape here because um, once you get them leveled up, they help out tremendously with both air and with uh, ground. The spiders are, they're pretty, they're big pests in this level. Um, actually, so, uh, so is the air. The air can be uh, kind of a pain. So anyway, um, let's grab our stuff, grab the gem and let's dance. This one's almost leveled, so let's get that up to level two. And we'll dance on this cannon. Now you can see we got air coming, so we are gonna have to build anti-air pretty soon here. These cannons are so good with their area of effect and splash damage. So get those leveled up because you can see after the air, we do have those big boulder guys. So we'll try and get these leveled up. Every little bit helps. Now, let's build our anti-air. I like to build the anti-air right there because it creates a nice long path for it to just kind of pick apart the anti, or pick apart the air monsters. Uh, so that, ooh, yeah. That perspective is neat, but it's not really that helpful. It's only helpful when you're trying to find uh, a cliff. Because if you build a tower on a cliff, it actually increases the range for that tower. It's kind of neat. Something that wasn't really in the first game. Anyway, um, so between the three arrow towers and the anti-air here, we get a pretty good defense against the air stuff. Um, but we will need to build more a little later. So let's go back. We got to level up these cannons as much as possible because they are our number one defender against these guys. So we'll get this up to level two. Now remember, towers will not attack any of the monsters until they are past those totem poles. So even if you build, you can see I'm building a cannon here. It will not start attacking them until they pass through those totems. Um, so you can build towers f farther up, but it, there will be no benefit to it because it won't attack them. Okay, so uh, get this to level two because that will help us out a bit with everything. I mean, you know, the arrow towers are really good for uh, de uh, killing spiders, but the cannons really are the best um, when it comes to spiders and those big rock guys. So let's get this up to level three. Yeah, make sure your anti-air is up to level three by the time wave seven comes. Ah, beautiful, look at that. Look at that. That's so good. All right, so we wanna get this final arrow tower up to level two as well. That's gonna be our backup in case any of the air units kind of slip by. So pick up as much coin as you can. The time management in this game is interesting because you've got to be dancing and then you got to be picking up uh, coin and gems and then building and uh, it's fun. I, I love this game so much. And it's also fun on Switch, by the way. I'm not sure where you're playing this game, but if you're if you have a Switch, 
um, and you don't have this game on the Switch, you can you should consider it because it is so much fun and it looks and runs great. The load times are a little lengthy. Uh oh, these guys. I'm gonna go grab these coins. All right. Uh, he looks like he's probably gonna get him. No, he didn't get him. Oh, you dog. Okay, so let's go over here and build one more arrow tower. Okay, so let's go back up here, and we're gonna wanna level this back up. We wanna get this to level four, or at least try to, because this anti-air tower is the most important defense against the air units. So we really wanna make sure that it is high level. Yep, so let's go ahead and build another one over here, um, because we just wanna make sure that uh, we have enough defense against the air units. And go and collect some coin. And I want to get this anti-air up to level 2 before these guys arrive. It's going to be close. Alright, so you can see what is coming after the air. We have the boss. Now remember the boss, just like in the previous games, moves very slowly. But he also will release his own monsters. Sometimes it's air, sometimes it's ground. And what that will do is distract the towers from attacking him. So that's all right. We got a pretty good battery of towers here to uh, take him down. So let's go collect our coin once again. Remember, we don't need to spend coin or gem gems unnecessarily. Um, I do want to get this up, but don't go too crazy because the coin and the gym, all that stuff affect your final score. So if you care about the score, if that's something you're interested in, keep that in mind. Don't go too crazy with buying stuff when you don't really need to. Now, we're gonna get this up to level three, and then once we get it up to level three, I think we're gonna level it up, yeah. So you can see him spawning some spiders, which is totally fine. We're fine, we're totally fine. We got our towers. But I want to get this up to level three so that we have some uh, good defense against some of the stuff that he's going to be releasing. Wasn't sure. I thought for a second maybe one of those spiders slipped through, but it didn't. Okay, so he's releasing air now. That's okay, though. With both our anti-air units up there, he is able to... They are able to take out those... Or at least reduce them enough. Oh, look, yes. Yeah, so when we get the boss, remember, as soon as you kill the boss, it'll kill all the monsters that it released. Yay! So, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. It does help me out quite a bit. Thanks so much for checking out my video. See you later.